Good morning. Thanks for your company this Tuesday, the 15th of December. I'm Jessica Amir, a market analyst with Bell Direct. Well, tougher social distancing measures have been introduced in some parts of the US, with New York on the verge of a full shutdown, while in London they've entered their toughest restrictions yet. Now, it comes as infection rates continue to rise while Pfizer's vaccine is being rolled out across both countries, but not quick enough. But there's still hope Moderna's vaccine is likely to be approved at the end of this week in the US. So we saw investors buy into those stay-home economy stocks and reduce their positions in stocks tied to economic growth. The S&P 500 fell 0.4%, the Dow lost 0.6%, and the Nasdaq went the other way up 0.5%. As for big movers, Alexion Pharmaceuticals up 29% after receiving a $39 billion takeover offer from AstraZeneca. Tesla shares up almost 5%, continuing their climb after entering the S&P 500 and being compulsorily acquired by fund managers and ETF providers, while other pure tech names like Netflix did well, up about 4%, and PayPal up by 3%. Commodity screens were mixed. The oil price rose to a fresh nine-month high, $47 US, and the iron ore price has eased, falling by 1.6%, so it's back under $150 US. The copper price fell slightly for the second day in a row. It's lost 0.3 of a percent overnight and the gold price is down by about 0.7 of a percent. So what to watch today? Well the Aussie share market is likely to see a bit of a pullback, a fall of 0.2 of a percent if you go by the futures of course following Wall Street lower. So today I'd be keeping an eye on coal mining stocks as Chinese state media confirmed that Beijing has blocked Australian coal imports. So keep an eye on thermal coal companies like Whitehaven Coal, New Hope Coal, Stanmore and Terracom as well. As for trading ideas that could be worth a look, the speech to text business access innovation was upgraded by Bell Potter as a buy with a new $1.35 target implying 33% upside in a year as it's expanded into the US via acquisitions. An engineering group to the mining industry, GR Engineering, GNG is their stock code. They were initiated as a Bell Potter buy with a $1.30 target that implies 18% upside in a year. Now, GR Engineering is leveraged to increase its mining activity. Bill Potter is forecasting it'll make almost $300 million in revenue, which will be a record result. So keep an eye on that. And BCI Minerals was upgraded by Bell Potter as a buy with a new 43 cent target that implies 54% upside. Now, the Commonwealth Government's Infrastructure Facility Board have approved a $450 million 15 year loan facility for the Salt and Potash project in the Pilbara region. What's really interesting is the existing salt solar evaporation projects in the region owned by Rio Tinto nearby have been operating successfully there for almost 50 years producing high quality salt for chemical and other industries that's highly sought after. Lastly keep an eye on Vita Group Master Mind Group and Gascoin Resources all showing bullish charting signals, according to Trading Central. I'm Jessica Amir with Bell Direct. Stay safe. Happy trading.